Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And today's topic is the public health topic which is the epidemiology. So, epi means among, dummy means people and logy means study. So, we are going to study on the preventive medicine. How do we prevent a disease? Nowadays, we have the coronavirus. So, how do we prevent this disease? For that, we have the epidemiology which is the study so we are studying so this is the epidemiology so without further ado let's get started before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos so till now we have covered incidence prevalence descriptive epidemiology analytical epidemiology now it's the time that we study the experimental epidemiology how do i explain this to you experimental epidemiology as we have already talked about that we are doing experiment so we are confirming the hypothesis a very good example of experimental epidemiology can be introduction of any vaccine. So suppose now that this is a coronavirus season, right? And everybody is looking for to make the vaccines for coronavirus. So how are we going to check these vaccines? How do we uh, confirm that this is the perfect vaccine for the coronavirus? So this is done with the help of the experimental epidemiology. So this is what the experimental epidemiology is all about. So basically this is removing the disease. There are many terms. If you look at the textbook there are many ways to say this. But the main thing is that we are preventing the disease. So how we are preventing the disease either with the risk factor or any other factor. Either by effectiveness either by efficiency of the health services. So we have two kind of studies in the experimental epidemiology. That means we are going to do two kind of experiments. One are the animal studies. As you all know that. Before experimenting on the human beings, before the human trials, we have the animal trials, right? So we have animal studies. So animal, we are testing on the animal first, any drug, any vaccine. So we are testing on the animals first before testing on the human being. Why are we doing that? Because, see, animals are easy to breed. Also, they can be manipulated easily. They can also multiply rapidly. So, if we, we have to wait for the reproduction, multiplication of the human, then we have to wait for long period of time, right? So, we do all these experiments in the animals first. But again, we have some limitations for the animal studies also. Like, not all human diseases can be reproduced on animal, first of all. If a disease can reproduce, then only are you are going to make the vaccine, right? And also, not all conclusion can be applicable to the human beings. Then we have the human, human trials. So, the human trials was done by the James Lind and he conducted experiment on 12 soldiers which were suffering from the scurvy. He divided into 6-6 six, six pairs and he did the intervention. So, talking about the human trials, we have two kind of human trial. One is the RCT. This is not the root canal treatment. <laughs> then we have see this is the uh, RCT then we have non RCT this is not the feeling again so RCT is the randomized control trial so we know what do you mean by term random random means you are selecting the uh, you are selecting the target population randomly that means the population which are in your cases or your which are in your control so basically the people whom you are experimenting on are selected randomly. That is why this is known as randomized control trials. So you are selecting the controls randomly. That is the randomized control trial. Non-randomized control trials are the trial in which there is no random. So there are a lot of bias which occur in non-randomized control trial. right? So also we will be studying about the blinding so talking about the randomized control trial what is the randomized control trial you are selecting the people randomly so there are some basic steps in the randomized control trial what are these steps so the basic step first one is drawing a protocol right you want a protocol 
then you will be selecting the population so how are you selecting the population we call is the reference or the target population then there is randomization so in this you do random i will be telling you how you do randomization then there is manipulation or intervention so you are coming to conclusion of any particular experiment so you are doing intervention you are doing all the calculations so you are doing the manipulation you are uh, giving the selective drugs and all to specific groups so you are doing manipulation on intervention then is the follow up and then finally you come to exact conclusion see manipulation or intervention you are giving the drug which is supposed to be given to uh, to that specific group follow up is you are checking on the results then there is the assessment of the outcome then you check the results you come to a conclusion about specific drug or vaccine right so outcome so this is the whole story of the randomized control trial so reference or target population what do you mean by this so you are taking a sample of people on which you are going to do this experiment right now this sample of people also uh, you have to exclude certain people like people who doesn't give informed consent like you will be telling them that we are doing experiment on you and those who are not giving their consent they will be excluded they will be excluded out of this study and also who are not eligible suppose if we are studying any disease suppose we are studying fluorosis so those who doesn't have the fluorosis they will be also excluded so the people who are excluded will be will be excluding them first then we will come to the reference population or the target population now what happens we are going to do randomization what do you mean by randomization suppose i am doing a study on 30 people okay so suppose these are 30 people so like that we have 30 people so what i am going to do i am going to make two doors right so i'm going to make two doors door a door b and i'm going to tell these people that divide it into 15 15 and choose one door like that so this is uh, we are telling the so see randomization is all the one is going to be a control group one is going to be the experimental group on which we are going to do the experiments okay or so this experiment group or the study group we can say okay so this experiment or study group is the group in which on which we are doing the experiment on which we are testing the drug on which we are testing the vaccines on which we are doing all the experiments right so we have two groups one is the control group in which we are not doing anything because we need some group to compare right so if we want to compare so if we want to come to a conclusion about a vaccine then we need to compare it with the other group then only we'll come to a conclusion so suppose if you are telling that you you topped the exam so that means you came first so for that you need some uh, other students right among those you topped so like that we have one more group to test which is the control group so control group is basically the group on which we are not doing any test study group or experiment is the group on which we are testing our drug we are testing our vaccine so we have blinding what is blinding blinding is like uh, if you are placing a blind fold on your eyes that means you don't know you have no idea so like that we have three kind of blinding first one is the single blinding single blinding means these people who are our guinea pigs <laughs> not the guinea pigs we should say our sample or the target population they have no idea that which door which group is going to be the experimental group which group is going to be the control group they don't know they have no clue that they will be testing the experiment that they will be testing the drug on them or not so this is known as the single blind wherein the participants is not aware of which group they are going to belong to then we have the double blind so double blind means the doctor who is giving the drug to both of these group he has no idea that which one is the real vaccine and which one is the placebo 
so that the follow up whatever follow up he is taking whatever um, vitals or any signs or any symptom or anything the follow up which he is recording he that is not biased so that he is not aware of so that there is no bias which occurs so double blinding is when the investigator and the participants you can say doctor or participants they both don't know the uh, group they both don't know the allocation of the group so that is the double blind next comes the triple blind so triple blind is when the analyzer investigator or you can say doctor investigator or doctor or the participant all three they don't know the allocation of the group so that will be our triple blind so that even analyzer is not being biased so that is these are all the blinding techniques which are used to remove the bias right then we have two kind of study designs the one is concurrent parallel study design let me write concurrent parallel study design so this design is see in which both of these groups are going parallel what do, what do we mean by that what do you mean by these groups are going parallel that means one group see suppose this a i am going to write it with the red pen so a was our control group right so a group is not exposed then we have the b b group which is exposed right so both of these are kept in same duration of time and we are comparing these two groups so because these two groups are going parallel and after a duration of time we are comparing the results between these two groups this is the concurrent parallel study design that means both the groups are going parallel one with the experiment or study one without the experiment or study then comes the next study design see the first one is the concurrent parallel study design the second one we have is the crossover study design what do we mean by crossover crossover means just put a cross mark study design so crossover study design is group we have group a we have group b so group a we are doing we are giving the placebo right group b we are giving the vaccine so what happens after certain period of time we are mixing so we group a we start giving the vaccine then group b we start giving the placebo so this is kind of a cross over study design so when the medicine when the vaccine or we can say when the treatment the group is receiving is actually crossed that is the cross over study design so guys we have then this is the randomized control trial right so this randomized control trial there are many types to this it can be a clinical trial it can be a preventive trial it can be risk factor trial so we have many kinds of uh, this randomized control trial then the another try type is that non randomized that is the non controlled trial okay so in that we have uh we know all the groups they are not selected randomly and then we check the association between the two groups is our experimental epidemiology so i hope that you guys have enjoyed the epidemiology and i hope that you guys are clear with the concepts of epidemiology so if you like the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and now in the description box below there is a chance to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then take care bye bye keep studying keep reading i will see you soon